What's good, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another showcase, and we are back in Gold Ridge here. This wonderful trad town here on BCS. Uh, if you do want to check this place out, then I'll leave the directions in the description. But today we are going to be taking a look at another very beautiful uh, Victorian Queen Anne house by George F. Barber. One of the coolest architecture of the 19th century. Uh, especially this house here, very nice, beautiful uh, design. Especially the color scheme, but we'll get into that later. Now, if you if you noticed, uh, uh, if you if you noticed in the past, uh, in, in the recent days, I haven't actually been uploading recently. That's because I've been getting ready for a lot of uh, big things coming up soon. Uh, I've been trying to get up an intro. I've been trying to do time lapses and a lot of cool stuff like that. So, you know, the month of April is probably going to be very packed with really cool stuff, so stay tuned for that. But besides that, let's dive right into this house and check it out. Alright, so, uh, you can basically see, like, uh, first of all, take a look at, like, the really cool features. Now, every Victorian house has some sort of really, like, unique feature, if you can see here. Now, this house kind of takes its cake for that. Uh, when I first saw the plans of this house, when I built it, it was just amazing. I really liked it. Very beautiful. Uh, I was I also tried to do some elevated landscaping on this house, but I just think that the color scheme works amazing in this house. Uh, if you ever get to it, this is kind of like this also probably works on flo uh, on default too. So if you're building a house, uh, color scheme is probably like a, a very big priority. Uh, it really makes this stand house stand out or not, and this house really does stand out. What I really like about this house in the front are the chimney features over here. Just how it like goes up like that. I think that that's like a very uh, defining part of the house. Like, you know, not other houses have that. I'm like, it's very common in Victorian. I'm just not. Uh, you don't really see that in your average Minecraft house, and I think that's pretty cool. And then we have this little gazebo here, which is like also really adds to the build. But you know, this house is just full of Victorian. Uh, and then we have this turret over here, which also uh, is pretty cool. Always gotta have the turret on uh, Victorian houses. But besides that, uh, go to the side over here. Now this house has is it's pretty big as a Victorian, but it has like these really cool parts over here. Now uh, also, uh, the uh, the texture pack that uh, I use uh, I didn't build I didn't build uh, this house in the texture pack. I'm using the flows design for BCS. This was used, uh, this was built on World of Corrales when they had a different texture pack. So the windows over here might be a little different. But, uh, this, it should be just stained, uh, glass windows there. I guess I'll just, uh, set that to something else, uh, maybe later on. But yeah, that's the side of that. Uh, back isn't much, there's a bunch of windows and, uh, this cool little, like, stone-made balcony kind of porch area. I think that's pretty nice. And then just a bunch of lovely landscaping. Uh, my shaders are acting pretty wacky. Uh, I might just switch them later on. Back here we have a really cool, uh, huge bay window back here. Really nice. Uh, the gable stands out. Uh, now, th this is one of the cool uh, Victorian features that you'll actually see pretty, uh, yeah, pretty often, especially in Georgia of Barber type builds. Uh, but you know, this this also does. It's not the most supportive, but it does pop out, which is pretty cool. Over here, there's a lot going on. Uh, now, this part actually, uh, when I built this, I built it kind of, and then like JP went over and kind of enhanced the top of this, and he added this gable, and I think that's really cool. Uh, JP is a really good friend of mine. He, he's he's really like uh, into this uh, architecture, and you know, a lot of these cool features. Uh, and over here, we have another stained glass window uh, for the stairs, and uh, you know, that's basically it for that side. Uh, so that's basically the exterior, just a lot of Victorian, a lot of really cool detail. Uh, you can see the roof here, there's a lot of chimneys with, uh, yeah, these are really cool, like, uh, antique looking chimneys. But, you know, they, they top off the build really well. But, you know, let's get into the interior now. Alright, so now that we've looked at the exterior, uh, it's time to look at the interior, of course. And there's a lot of cool stuff in there. But keep in mind that I built this a very long time ago. So uh, some things might be a little outdated. You can already see here that I don't even use anvils anymore. I use solid blocks. Uh, I guess it was a kind of a thing when I started building Trad. But uh, in here we just have a, a vestibule. And then 
we come into the reception hall, which is a really big room where all the rooms meet, and it's a pretty cool place. Just put a table there to uh, fill in the space. But it is a lovely hallway. Uh, in here, we just have a living room. We got like diagonal fireplaces. Uh, over here, we have uh, just another living space. And this is the same on the other side. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of the the um, interior here. I'm not really the like, TV here. I, I don't really do that anymore. But it it is still a pretty good uh, interior and uh, definitely good for inspiration too. Like it's very simple. Uh, in here we just have another bay window sort of turret. This is actually the turret. And over here this is I thought this is a pretty neat part. Uh, this is actually the like a cool diagonal window. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of diagonals going on in this build. Uh, and over here we just have another porch. Uh, in here is an office room, pretty nice office room, and some lights. Now I built this in I think one point I forgot like one point eight or something like that before uh, uh before Paynes did this it, it was like something else it was like the T kind of like formation so that's why there's a lot of that here so I'm just gonna get rid of that. So moving on here's a bathroom. It's pretty weird how the bathrooms here. I think this wasn't even in part of the plan uh now over here uh we have just uh you know regular hallway with a cool this is like uh sort of like a bookshelf but over here we also have uh the kitchen right cramped it's pretty cramped in here uh but yeah this is a pretty outdated kitchen design not much over there and then we go through the pantry and then here we have like a huge dining room just like a very ornate dining room and uh, this is kind of how I did them back then just put a bunch of details and cups everywhere and those are cakes in the middle uh, even on the sides here the, the, these dining rooms I made used to always be like so decorated uh, but that's uh, I, I'm not really I usually keep things minimalistic now it's kind of like a, the modern way now and that goes for a lot of trad houses nowadays. It's kind of like that. Uh, but that's like basically the first floor. Uh, so now we're going to go up here. Really cool uh, sort of stairway. We have like this big open window. Uh, the new textures kind of ruin it. But uh, I guess it's cool. It's mostly Those new textures are mostly for modern. But uh, they kind of ruined all the panes. Uh, in here we just have uh, the hallway. Really nice hallway. And then a half bathroom. I think I never actually did the bathroom here. Yeah, the bathroom was supposed to be here, but I never actually finished it. So, yeah. That sucks. Uh, but I might actually do that later, because like, I could update this place. It's uh, very outdated. We got like outdated railings, too. Like This is not even uh, in position. But here we have another living room. Pretty lovely living room. Sun comes in like that. Really nice. And the bathroom is over here. Another living room, nothing special. It's kind of a little. Uh, this one's a little bigger. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It's a lot of odd stuff going in here that I don't really do anymore. Uh, but it's it is still a really nice house, especially for the exterior. This is kind of the time where the exterior wasn't as good as the well, what the interior wasn't as good as the exterior. So, but I, I think I'm equally as good as both uh, in both now. Uh, but yeah, this is one of my earlier houses. In here we have another bathroom. In here we have another bedroom, of course. But as you notice in this house, uh, and all the other houses that like, you'll never find the same bedroom look like the same like look in the bedroom. It's always gonna be different. Like in here, the layout's a little different. Uh, we got the bay window, but you know this bedroom is like so much different from the other. So like when you're building a house like that, just keep in mind that like. There's a lot of variation going on, and that's what makes a house special. Uh, but I think those are all the rooms. Oh, there should be another bedroom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this one. I'm like the the furniture might look a little similar. That's because uh, when I build these houses, uh, I kind of just like pop something in my mind, and that's basically what it's gonna be. And it's usually sort of like in a similar fashion. I don't really have a lot of bed designs. I kind of stick with like one or two. 
But even for that, that there's still variation going on. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, this this is uh this chair is messed up. And then of course, and I mentioned this a lot in my other uh vids, but uh basically uh like the. This is the best place to put an office. I always put an office in my bay windows. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's an office in that bay, in that house right there too. And I might showcase that one next because that's like I really like that one. Uh, but I think that concludes our tour of this house. There's not much. It's just bedrooms and uh, bathrooms up here and living rooms. It is a really unique house. It is really cool. Uh, I'm like you guys told me if you've seen a house like this before. I mean like there's a lot of stuff going on. But you know, this is uh, it. This is basically it. Uh, so, yeah, this concludes our tour. I'm just going to do P time night. Yeah, look at that. Really glows. Even though, like, the grass lines kind of, like, screw everything up. It is pretty nice. I, th I think grass lines are kind of, like, getting outdated soon. But, uh, they still look pretty cool, I guess. It's a very, uh, I don't know, sort of lazy way to landscape. But, you know, times are changing, so things might get a little different. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that is basically our showcase right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this really lovely Victorian house. Very beautiful. Uh, I, I really love the color scheme on this. Probably one of my favorite color schemes. Very vibrant. Got a lot of colors going on. Uh, so if you like this build, uh, then be sure to like, you know, subscribe. Help support the channel. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up uh, in the next coming weeks and months. I got a time lapse coming up for April. Uh, we always got that monthly time lapse. Uh, and I'm, I'm starting to work up an intro too. So we'll see. Uh, but I'll see you guys later.